feared for their painful stings. Bees, having 20,000 documented species, actually play a crucial role in balancing the Earth ecosystem. Bee can be found on every continent except for Antarctica. Bees may be solitary or may live in various types of community. Bees, like carpenter bees and leafcutter bees, are solitary. It typically inhabits a nest she constructs herself, and there is no division of labor. In other hand, honeybees and bumblebees live in complex society and are referred as eusocial. Eusociality is an extreme form of social behavior found in just a few types of animals and is characterized first by the presence of several generations in a single nest at the same time, second, cooperation by some members of the society in caring for offspring that are not their own, and lastly, division of labor with queens that reproduce a lot. Looking at honeybee, the caste system includes three distinct types of individual organisms, the drones, the workers, and the queen. Drones are male bees that develop from unfertilized eggs. They do not store or gather pollen or honey. We can see from the video, a little left of the center, there is a drone that's hatching out. Unlike worker bee who goes straight to cleaning post-hatch, these drones poke the nurse's bee for food. The primary and singular function of drones for the colony is to mate. Successful mating results in death, making these males entirely monogamous. The worker honeybees are sterile female that perform the great majority of the work for the colony. They maintain the cleanliness of the cell, build cells, tend to the queen, care for the larvae, store honey, forage, pollinate, guard the nest, and even as far to feed the drones. As females, they develop from fertilized eggs. After 21 days on average, the adult worker emerges and starts working the moment they hatch. They progress through a series of jobs, switching as she ages. Generally, she takes care of the brood and other individuals first, then the maintenance of the colony, and finally is allowed to leave the colony for defense and foraging. Workers make up the majority of a honeybee colony. The queen. The queen is a mated adult female. And is usually mother to all in the hive. She is usually easy to identify in the hive based on her large abdomen. There is typically only one queen per hive. Queens begin as a fertilized egg just as any other bee in the hive. The worker bees select specific larvae to become a queen. They feed her a diet exclusively of royal jelly. It takes 16 days for a new queen to emerge from the day an egg was laid. The first thing a virgin queen does after emerging is seek out rival developing queens and kill them by stinging them. Her next step is to get mated. She mates in the air on what is termed a mating flight. She will mate with between 12 to 20 drones in flight. After mating, she is ready to begin her role as the queen of the colony and sole fertilized reproductive member and laying up to 1,500 eggs per day. But they are actually limited by the number of cells available for her to lay in. If she is overproductive, 
the worker bees will consume the eggs that she deposits if they run out of space. Male drones are rejected from the nest by the worker bees to die during autumn, after they have mated with the queen, as they are no longer needed by the colony and they can only consume the colony resources. Like some insects, honeybees behave defensively when intruders are near, guarding the entrance to their nest. However, honeybees are able to sting only once, because stingers contain barb and are attached to the workers' intestines. They detach from the stinging bee's body after attacking a victim. While a honeybee will die soon after transferring its venom, pheromones secreted during the attack will alarm and stimulate other worker bees to attack as well. A bee's diet constitutes of pollen and nectar from flowering plants, consequently responsible in plant pollination. According to Natural Resources Conservation Service United States, some scientists estimate that one out of every three bites of food we eat exists because of animal pollinators like bees. The honeybee dance plays an important role in the survival of the species. It has been a part of colonies for years and has remained one of the most important methods used in foraging for food. There are two main types of honeybee dances, round dance and woggle dance. Round dance, as the name indicates, is a movement in a circle. This is used to indicate the food source is less than 50 meters from the nest. Woggle dance is a figure 8 pattern while the bee woggles its abdomen and is used for food located at a distance of more than 150 meters. Exact distance can be communicated by duration of the dance. A longer dance indicates a great distance. The dancing worker bee also can indicate direction with the woggle dance and will move in reference to the sun's vertical position. The degrees to the right or left of the vertical indicate the direction of the foot. For example, if the bee's dance is rotated 30 degrees to the vertical, then the foot will be found at a 30 degree angle from the nest related to the sun's vertical. In one short season, the colony's workers will visit up to 500 million flowers and will make around 90 kilograms of honey. That's sufficient to sustain a whole colony through the upcoming winter. Hygienic behavior is also seen in Apis mellifera, honeybee. It's a group defense in which dead or diseased individuals are excluded. In the honeybee, varroa sensitive hygienic behavior refers to uncapping and removing dead and diseased larvae and pupae from sealed brood cells. Young healthy workers also will quickly discard slower, less productive workers to make room for the new ones. Honeybees are extremely efficient in making sure the maximum use of their resources. To help dust off each other, bees perform a grooming dance or shaking dance to initiate aloe grooming. The hygienic, grooming, the hygienic groomers work over the field bees from head to toe. Seen in the video, they clean underneath their wings, abdomen, and their thorax. Thank you for watching.